Okay. I'm at the Phoenix Learning Center, all right? So that place, not last winter, winter before, they decided they wanted something done. Hi. Hello, how are you doing, you? Good, thank you. So, uh, turn around, the Phoenix Learning Center. Uh, they tried to change it to the Sarah Burns Center in memory of that cop that was shot. And the neighbors, thank God, got together in a polite manner and said, listen, we're not against what they're doing. But our neighborhood, they're having sex in the backyard in the playhouse. There is totally, it was total destruction. And here was all kinds of shopping cart. And right, right there, I remember there was about 10, 10 garbage bags full of clothes. And then they all threw that in the river. And uh, they're trying to say, oh, uh, these are just, uh, these, are, these are like fake news. This is not true. I seen it. The river is totally, totally, side bank was tents, everything destroyed. It didn't sound good, but it was just, it wasn't good. So now, let's give you another example of what happened here. Uh, they started to pitch the tent. They're on the burial ground. Now that's their business. They want it. They want it. But as you can see, there's a tent right there. And there were shopping carts all over the place here. Uh, they were cutting in the traffic. And this was just they had to shut down. I think it was six o'clock at night. So it's open in the morning, closed at six o'clock at night, and it was total destruction. And one part that really bothered me is right here. Where is it? Uh, right here. So you don't expect Met heads to go around. What they did, they destroyed. Right here. All destroyed the hedges out the government house. And they were tenting all over and they were prepared to take over. And then they formed Penn City. So, this, like I said, this was all this hanging around here and they closed at 6. So, that doctor from Ontario, so-called doctor, Sarah Davidson, wants people on Crystal Met to live, live near a school and an old burial ground. If one politician speaks up in favor of this, look out. And plus, she's blackmailing the government. But that's another story. I know what. Maybe we should give her a job. If she could speak French. She could be the new uh, lieutenant governor, and then we'll, we could get rid of her. <laughs>